What's up, everyone? Jazz Berganza here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose of common sense and facts. Happy Tuesday. Well, it's been a while since I did a video in regards to the horrific massacre that occurred in Evaldi, Texas, that took the lives of 19 children, two adults, by one mentally deranged piece of garbage. Happily, he's no longer with us. But the investigation, as it continues to move on, now there's new evidence new picks in regards to uh, the police that they were in the building almost one hour while the shooter ran loose. Wow. Let's take a look. This comes out of the blaze. A Valdez police had at least one ballistic shield in 19 minutes into the massacre, and he still waited, report says. A new report that says a Raleigh police had officers with rifles and at least one ballistic shield only 19 minutes into the horrific massacre, and he still decided to wait. The report is likely to raise intense scrutiny and criticism against law enforcement authorities who decided to wait more than one hour before taking down the gunman who continued to murder elementary school students. The Austin American Statesman first reported the revelation on Monday. Police initially said that they did not seek to engage with the gunman because they thought they had gone from an active shooting to a barricade situation and didn't want to risk police officers being killed. Understandable, but as police, it's your damn job. They had at least one ballistic shield early on and undermines, uh, of course, undermines that defense. According to Texas TV, and so investigators put more uh, put together more the uh, detailed timeline that events showed some officers were growing impatient while waiting outside the room. Quote, if there were kids in there, we need to go in there, said one officer at 11.52 a.m., 19 minutes after the gunman entered the school. Quote, whoever's in charge will determine that, responded another officer. Critics were shocked to find out that children inside the room were calling 911 begging for help as police waited outside. There is some evidence that some of those children were shot and killed while police waited. The last report to inflame sentiment against a law enforcement response involved an interview with Peter uh, Arredondo, the chief of police at a Valdez school district. Arredondo defended the police response, but admitted he was unaware that he was in charge because he had purposely abandoned his radios while entering the scene of the crime. Arredondo said he did not know about the 9-11 calls from inside the barricade room because he had no radios to communicate with the officers. This is some of the video. We're learning more tonight about the timeline of the school shooting in Uvalde and the resources police had available. KVU senior reporter Tony Blahetsky joins us now. And Tony, you sat down with law enforcement and were able to review surveillance video and body camera video from inside the school. And Brian and Quita, what we know at this point is that within 19 minutes of officers arriving at that school, they had rifles as well as ballistic shields that in the minds of some people who are reviewing the evidence in this case would have given officials enough ability to take down that shooter. Keep in mind that almost an hour passed before they then went inside that classroom and found the bodies of those 19 children and two teachers, as well as taking down the gunman. Of See course, this line. raises new questions about the police response, what they were armed with at the time, and why they did not act sooner. There is a lot of new information in this case, as well as a new timeline that investigators have put together. And Brian and Quita, much of this information is actually going to be presented tomorrow here in Austin at a Senate hearing that is hearing testimony from law enforcement as well oh, as members that should of the be fun. public about what happened that, should be that fun. terrible wow. day. And Tony, what we saw there was a screenshot of that video that's going to be presented. Is that correct? Quinn and Brian, it's unclear the entire two in the morning on May 24th. I'm just going to jump ahead this only because it's about four minutes long. Again, showing the officer, at least one officer, although there were several with assault rifles and, and other uh, weapons as well. And then on the bottom of your screen, sort of to the right there, you can see one officer does have 
a ballistic shield. Again, this was about 19 minutes. Looking at the timeline, this was about 19 minutes from the time that the gunman entered the school at 11. My thoughts. Well, again, this does not bode well for Texas police, who, Evaldi police, who waited 19 minutes. They were armed with one ballistic shield before they reacted. And not even that, because they were in there almost an hour while the shooter took out these kids. And now, of course, this was yesterday, of course, now today, um, there's going to be a Senate hearing in regards to this new evidence, body cam footage, and timelines. I defend the police. I do. 99% of the police in this country, men and women who put on that blue, who put on that shield every single day, who put their lives on the line, as we saw in the summer of love in 2020, where cops got killed, cops got shot, as we saw over the last five to seven years where there has been an onslaught of shooting police officers um, just because they're police. Um, like I said, my heart goes out to them. They got a tough job. They got a rough job. But at the same time, I will chastise them for doing something wrong, for doing something stupid. When you have the ability and your job is to defend and protect. That is your job. You had a situation in the school, instead of doing your job and putting your life on the line because it's what you do as a police officer, it's the oath you took. You sat there and you waited, and now it turns out that the so-called person in charge of this, quote, didn't have communication because of lack of radios, Really? Really? Wow. Wow. Uh, this story just continues to get uglier and uglier for the Evaldi police and for uh, Texas police in general. Uh, and of course, it puts another black eye on police across the country because, of course, those who are watching this over and over and over again on social media automatically think that all cops are racist, bigots, homophobes, and now allow children to get killed and did nothing about it. With that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. And want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.